All right, here in the northwest, we're looking at some lingering snow showers. Our next storm system is working through with some pretty gusty winds on the southern side of this trough of low pressure, but there will be some breezy winds uh, throughout the region here. And lingering April cold really has been pretty remarkable through the uh, first half of the month to see how much cold air much of the nation has been dealing with. So winter weather advisories have been posted for parts of the Cascades and the Sierra Nevada range. And again, this is where snowfall tallies could be adding up to shovelable and plowable amounts. Keep that mind if you do have uh, travel plans through some of the uh, passes there. Uh, seeing some lighter amounts in Salt Lake and Jackson, maybe an inch or two, Casper and Cheyenne picking up some snowfall, but maybe not quite as much. So the actual area of low pressure itself uh, through midday today will be found out near Seattle and uh, Bellingham. The uh, storm system again kind of continues to shift off to the east, bringing with it moisture uh, throughout the uh, high plains and back into the um, upper Midwest as we get into the midweek time period with just some lingering snow showers and uh, lower elevation rain showers as we head into the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. So Seattle and Portland, maybe a half an inch of rain, maybe a little bit more than that, or at least in terms of liquid, whereas there will be some lighter amounts as you head farther inland. Now, Salt Lake City is under a uh, wind advisory and high wind warning for some of the surrounding areas. Could see some 40 plus mile per hour winds today there, but uh, look at how warm it is out ahead of this front. We're talking 70s from Billings all the way down to Casper.